It was supposed to be a triumphant moment for Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, a chance to showcase her commitment to female empowerment on the global stage. But what unfolded at the Afro-Colombian Women and Power Conference in Cali, Colombia was anything but a victory lap for the ambitious royal. The event, held at the Enrique Buenaventura Theatre, was designed to celebrate the contributions and challenges faced by women in the Afro-Colombian community. Meghan, ever eager to demonstrate her linguistic prowess, took to the stage alongside Prince Harry, addressing the crowd in both English and Spanish. But before we continue please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. However, Meghan's attempt to charm the audience with her bilingual abilities quickly went awry. Beginning her speech with a stilted Spanish introduction, she apologized for her less-than-perfect grammar, stating, I'd like to begin in Spanish because we're in your country. Sorry if my Spanish isn't perfect because I learned 20 years ago in Argentina, but I'm trying because here I can feel this community and this feeling which is the best in the world. Unfortunately, Meghan's Spanish skills proved to be shakier than her grasp of the cultural nuances. Her accent was more European than Latin American, and her stumbling delivery drew more attention to her linguistic shortcomings than to the message she was trying to convey. The cringe-worthy performance only served to underscore the disconnect between Meghan's rehearsed Spanish and her actual fluency. Just when things couldn't get any more awkward, the event took an unexpected turn. During a speech by Vice President Francia Marquez, a member of the audience decided to interject, shouting a question about trans rights and interrupting the panel discussion. Marquez, displaying admirable composure, responded that her focus was on supporting women in general, but assured the heckler that their program included provisions for trans women as well. The heckler was allowed to remain for the rest of the event, though their moment in the spotlight threatened to overshadow the intended discourse. As for Meghan, her own speech, which included praise for Harry and her daughter's newfound voice, was largely overshadowed by the drama surrounding her Spanish performance. Critics were quick to point out the disconnect between Meghan's public persona as a champion of female empowerment and the reported controversies behind the scenes, including her allegedly contentious management style and the use of non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, with former staff. The dissonance between Meghan's stage presence and her reported backstage behavior only fueled the growing criticism. The event, which was supposed to be a celebration of women's achievements and challenges, had devolved into a spectacle of missteps and uncomfortable moments, from the heckling incident to Meghan's lackluster linguistic display. In the end, the Sussexes' attempt to boost their public image in Colombia had hit a major snag. What should have been a triumphant moment for Meghan's empowerment agenda had instead become a cautionary tale of how even the best laid plans can go awry when faced with the unpredictability of real-world events and the unforgiving glare of the public eye.